hi guys welcome back to my channel if this is your first time my name is precious on this channel i help you understand that family and relationship is a work in progress through my video i am officially full term that means i'm over 37 weeks pregnant so for this week i'm actually 38 weeks pregnant and the past few weeks i've been having this thing called um breasting hicks which is basically forced labor and uh, you know what every woman wants an easy labor every woman wants to do something that would help her through the process of um having her baby so on today's video i'm just going to be sharing how i'm preparing my body for labor and delivery now just to let you know that these things are basically like increasing or trying to help you i don't think any one of it is like accurately this is what's gonna happen when you do this but for me i'm someone who likes to try something so anything that i know is healthy is not gonna affect me negatively i'm going to try it the worst that will happen is that it's not gonna work but a lot of it has have actually have got like positive um, reviews or people have said one thing or the other so I'm going to be sharing with you how I'm preparing my body for labor right without further ado let's get talking the first thing I started doing is started going for a walk so from the 28 weeks when I was told I'm going to be working from home I decided that I would be going for morning walks right so as Derek goes to drop the kids at school i just go for a walk it basically helps me and through this video i'm going to be showing you guys tiny vlogs of what i'm actually doing so i've been going for regular walks hi guys oh wow i'm just going for my morning walk so this is now my routine every morning i go for my walk and um it's a beautiful morning to be honest it's sunny but it's cold so i go for my morning walk all by myself i like to go by myself to give me that um, give me that um, kind of start my day to kick start my day so yeah and it's windy as well as you can see not as you can hear <laughs> it's windy so this is what makes me feel this is how i start my day every morning go for morning walk every morning this is just around my estate where i live around the woods um, and it's beautiful it's beautiful i'm loving it now that every morning is something that I have to tick off my list. Go for a walk. Keeps me active. Keeps my brain alert. Keeps me feeling good throughout the day. So yeah. And every time when I go for a walk, I come back, I feel better, I feel good. I feel like, okay, yeah, the day is ready. I can start my day. It does really help me a lot. But lately, summer has, we are now in summer and i personally suffer from hay fever it's been very very tough for me going out to um and do my exercise so what i've i've done for the past few days i haven't been because every time if i try to i can't even go outside if i go outside i'll start having issues i start experiencing uh, reactions from um hay fever having a fever symptoms so what i decided to be doing was I started spending a lot more time inside the house, walking around inside the house, trying not to sit for a long time. But I just found out that, you know what, going out helps me. So at the moment, I've gotten something that is helping me with my hay fever. So I'm beginning to go out. I try to cover my eyes with my glasses and I try to cover my nose with my mask, which is, to be fair, a bit difficult <laughs> going for a walk and covering your nose with your mask. But obviously if i don't cover my nose with a mask i'm going to be sneezing and all of that so i cover my nose with a mask and i also wear my glasses just to protect myself and lately as well i've also decided not to just not just to go for morning walk but also to go for an afternoon walk so i go in the morning and i go in the afternoon so going for a walk is one way that actually keeps me going and 
also prepares my body for labor and for childbirth the second thing that i've started doing is i've actually started doing this one from when i turned 30 when i got into my 35 weeks of pregnancy i started doing perina massage now perina massage is the massage that you do and um, you try to massage this the basically the space between your vagina and your anus you try to massage that area what you're just trying to do is to um, avoid episiotomy or avoid tear or avoid anything that would um, cause um, problem with your vagina basically so you're just trying to massage it to get the skin tender or to um, allow blood flow to that area so that during delivery it's just gonna slowly expand and not tear so that's one thing i've always done it through my pregnancies and i've started doing it as well you can do it yourself or you can ask your partner to do it obviously you're not expecting me to show you that are you but I'll see if i can find pictures of how the area that you're supposed to be massaging is very very important if you can do perina massage i started from 35 weeks you can start i don't know if um you're allowed to start early but i started from 35 weeks of pregnancy and i've been doing it every other day you can do it once every day you can do it every other day you can do it yourself you can do it and um, with your partner can do it for you use a good massage oil be careful what you what you use as your um massage oil to massage that place i personally just go for olive oil to massage that place but be very careful what you introduce because what you don't want to do is to get infection from the oil you use in massaging that area so that's one thing that i've been doing another thing as well that i've been doing is using my exercise ball i've been using my exercise ball a lot more these days because i know that it's very very important for you to it helps basically helps your baby to engage it helps you to as in, you know that flexibility when your legs are apart and all of that it does help a lot i've been using my exercise ball a lot more i'm going to be showing you clips as well of me using my exercise board the different exercise that i've been doing on my exercise board so there's this lady that i watch on youtube i follow on youtube she talks more about pregnancy she's a she's actually a professional she's actually a certified doula i think so she talks a lot about pregnancy uh, in, in labor and all of that so i follow her a lot so i, I there are some exercises that she showed on her um, channel which one can do so i do those exercises the different types of exercises that you can do on your on your exercise ball that basically helps your pelvic help your even help your back makes the baby to engage properly imagine when you're sitting down with your legs wide open it's gravity takes it cost so the baby is basically going down and it helps your baby's head to engage properly which can also help to prepare your body for labor and also prepare you for childbirth so i've been using my exercise ball a lot a lot more if you haven't got exercise ball you're pregnant i think it's very very important to have an exercise ball because that ball does not just help you to prepare your body for delivery and labor it also helps with your back sitting on it and if you're someone who works from home as well you sit for a long time it's a good idea you may not even be pregnant it's a very good idea if you can use exercise ball as well so I've been sitting a lot more on my exercise ball. That's one thing I've been doing that has helped me so, so much. Or that is helping me prepare my body for childbirth and labor. Another thing as well that I started doing is when I got into my um, third trimester, I started researching, I started reading about how to prepare your body for labor. Now, let me just say something. I'm not um, doing this so that I can go into labor like fast. That's not the aim. If it happens, that's fine. But the aim of me doing all this is just to reduce the length of labor to make it a lot more easier for me. So one of the things that I researched and I stumbled upon is called something called date fruit, which I have here. So when I read up on it, I found out that um, date fruit is one of those, it's very, very rich. I've never eaten it before. This is my first time of actually hearing about it and eating it. So I um, read up on it. I read a lot of um, um, articles on it. I also read about and um, watched videos on it. One of the things I could say from this is that if you have gestational diabetes, 
don't take this fruit because it's very very sweet personally i don't like something that is too sweet but because anything that's going to help me through childbirth that's why i'm having it so this is this one is an organic one i bought from costco people recommend you can have up to four to five dates a day for from 36 weeks basically so i started having this from 36 weeks as you can see i've almost finished I've almost finished the box and this one is very very big so I don't have six a day I have maximum of four in fact I go for three because one of it just see how big one is is very very big so I don't I don't do six I just do three a, a, every other day I get three every other day because there's something else I've been doing as well so dates you want to read up on it please before you go and buy dates Read up on it yourself. Make sure you're convinced by this or by what you've read before you start eating it. I read a lot about it. I, apart from the fact that it helps to ripen your service. Yes, that's the reason. It helps to ripen your service. So by the time you go into labor, your service is already soft. Okay, so you may not have that very long labor because your service is already soft. One of the reasons people have long labor is because their service are trying to soften and contract and all of that. But if your service is already soft as a result of having these dates, what that means is that your labor is likely going to be faster. It's not going to be long because your service is soft and ripened or soft according to the way they say it professionally. So, and that's why I've been eating dates. So do your research yourself. Make sure you're okay with it. And if you know you have gestational diabetes, again, don't eat dates. So for me, I ate, I'm eating it, one, to so help me prepare for labor. And two, is a very, very healthy fruit okay it contains a lot of nutrients it helps us and big for and this as well helps with um constipation i personally have suffered constipation through this in fact naturally i'm a constipated person and get, being pregnant has even made it worse so since i've been eating this date i've been having um um my bowel movement has gotten a lot better so it's helping me not just to prepare my body also helping me my constipation and obviously other other um what's it called nutrients that you get from it so dates is something i've been eating another thing as well that i've been doing to prepare myself and my my body for childbirth is that i've been eating pineapple okay so i've got some already in the freezer so i bought pineapple as soon as i go into 35 weeks as well I got pineapple and I, um, obviously let it ripen in the house. I bought like two massive pineapples and I've just chopped all of them and they are in the freezer. So I alternate pineapple and dates. So like yesterday I had some um, pineapple. Today I'm going to be having dates. Okay. So that's why I do pineapple and dates, pineapple and dates. So pineapple again is another thing that I have read that they say helps to prepare your body for childbirth and delivery now child um pineapple is um the what i've read from pineapple is not as strong as dates dates is actually proven to have to help but pineapple i don't know but to be fair with you whatever helps the baby to come easily whatever helps my labor to be easy and i can afford it and it's not going to hurt me or hurt my baby i'm going to do it so i'm just eating pineapple if you if you know anything about pineapple or if you've eaten pineapple and it really helps you through your delivery and childbirth labor and childbirth please let me know in the comment section or if you've eaten dates as well and it did help you let me know in the comment section so pineapple is another thing that i've been eating alongside with dates that i'm using to prepare myself or prepare my body and for labor and delivery and another thing that i've been doing to prepare myself and my body for labor is i've been treating myself okay so the other day i had to go for a proper foot pedicure
I went for a pedicure and I did my uh, brows as well. Anything that I can basically do that would be able to um, relax me because obviously when you're relaxed, it also helps your body to relax and relaxation releases good hormones that can help you through labor and delivery. So I went for like a spa day. I'm going to be inserting a clip <laughs> of me going for a spa day with my other friends. And I'm also hoping to go for a massage as well. If I go for that massage, because the thing about having a massage is that not everyone can actually do a pregnancy massage, okay? So um, I've actually tried to book for a pregnancy massage. I'm hoping that I'll be able to do it before baby comes. If I do it, I'm going to be inserting it on this clip. If I don't do it then you will not see any clip but i've actually been for the pedicure i've done my food i've soaked my food scrub and all of that i've done my brows and basically anything that you can do so i've been treating myself just to get me relaxed just to make sure i'm fine when i'm really really tired i just lie down and i just rest i'm getting as much rest as possible because i know when the baby comes the first few days is never easy okay you're always awake through the night and a lot more things happen so these are the things that i've been doing preparing my body for labor is there anything that i've mentioned that you have done previously and it worked for you please let me know in the comment section okay because i re i really really want to know what you have done who knows so i can copy i can learn from you and also prepare myself add it to my list and do those things as well if there's anything as well that i haven't mentioned that you did while you were pre um, um, re um, towards the end of your pregnancy to prepare you for childbirth and delivery let me know in the comment section so thank you guys for watching this video be grateful be positive and be yourself see you on my next video bye for now